the amount of solar energy that strikes the earth every hour is roughly equivalent to the total amount of energy that human society uses in an entire year. So when you start looking at figuring out ways to transition off of fossil fuels, it lends this importance to solar power. Right now, solar power is less than 0.1% of our electricity supply in the US. If we scale it by a factor of 10, we might get near 1%, and maybe a factor of 100, we can start pushing 10%. Costs have come down rapidly over time, but the fact of the matter is, solar power is still an expensive energy resource. The solar panel manufacturing market is very competitive. There's a lot of globalized companies out there with really strong R&D programs. They're out there trying to bring their prices down to keep competing. So RMI's work is really focused on this set of non-module costs, which are called the balance of system costs. Balance of system, in this case, referring to everything but the module, which accounts for about half the total cost. Currently, the balance of system costs can account for anywhere from $2 per watt of power to $4 per watt. And that's based on the maturity of the market, it's based on the type of technology, it's based on where you're putting the installation. And what we would like to see is that $2 to $4 per watt range move down toward 50 cents per watt. But when you look at the balance of system, it's a very fragmented market and it has to bring together regulators, utilities, installers, component suppliers, banks, building owners. It's this diverse network of people that makes it more difficult to drive down costs. There's lots of potential in figuring out standardized permitting processes, financing structures, contracts, and interconnection criteria that will help us move from a fragmented market, which really forms a challenge to companies trying to operate across those markets, and move to a system where it's more predictable and more standardized and less costly. Really, this entire thing is just the beginning, because what we've learned over the last 28 years of RMI's existence is that it's not enough to just publish a report. The projects that we'll do are going to focus on working with partners and collaborators to prove the potential and make this a reality. 